There are two major paradigms for autonomous driving. The mediated perception approach detects interested objects in the image and computes driving commands based on those detections. The behavior reflex approach maps the input image directly to driving commands. We propose the third paradigm. Given an image, our direct perception approach estimates a few key affordance indicators, then computes the driving commands based on those indicators. Now we show our direct perception-based system driving autonomously in a racing game, Torx. On this three-lane track, the autonomous driving host car overtakes a series of traffic cars by switching lanes. On this three-lane track, the host car follows the preceding car, since both the left lane and the right lane are occupied. On this two-lane track, the host car overtakes a series of traffic cars by switching lanes. On this one-lane track, the host car is forced to apply the emergency brake to avoid collision. We show our direct perception CNN running on real driving videos. The perception results are displayed in the visualization window. The CNN not only perceives the lane markings and the traffic cars, but also helps to determine the lane configuration. The videos were taken by a smartphone camera mounted on the windshield while the car was driven around by a human driver. The Direct Perception CNN is trained with video game images and is now testing on real images. Since we do not possess the ground truth, we only show the estimation. Since the system only monitors the current lane and the two adjacent lanes, it uses a two-lane configuration for visualization when driving on leftmost and rightmost lanes, even for a three-lane road. To compare with our algorithm, we also evaluate the behavior reflex CNN under two different settings as a baseline. The first setting is training the baseline on one empty track and testing it on other empty tracks. The task is to follow the lane. We observe that the host car driven by the behavior reflex CNN baseline can follow the lane perfectly without any problem. The second setting is training the baseline on one track with traffic and testing it on the same track with the same traffic cars. The task is to follow the lane, avoid collisions by switching lanes, and overtake slow proceeding cars. We observe that the trained system demonstrates some capability at avoiding collisions by turning left or right. However, the trajectory is erratic. The behavior is very different from a normal human driver and is unpredictable. The host car collides with the preceding cars frequently. We compare the perception accuracy between the GIST-based system and our direct perception CNN. The different systems are running on the same testing set collected by having a human player manually drive on the tracks. The lane perception of the GIST-based system is less accurate than ours, and its car perception works poorly. We compare the perception accuracy between the Caltech lane detector-based system and our direct perception CNN. 
The different systems are running on the same testing set collected by having a human player manually drive on the track. The lane perception of the Caltech lane detector based system works poorly as well. We train another CNN model for car distance estimation on the Kitty dataset. We show our Kitty based direct perception model running on some testing samples, and we also compare it with the DPM based baseline and the manually labeled ground truth. There can be many cars in a typical Kitty image, but only those closest to the host car are critical for driving decisions. So we only focus on those cars in our experiments. The middle left image is the input to the close range CNN, while the lower left image is the input to the far range CNN. Our direct perception approach has similar performance to the state of the art DPM based mediated perception baseline.